Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Uh, let's crack into another one. Uh, I love cracking into them. So, uh, Joan, well, real quick, uh, you know, I just want to give my, my heartfelt condolences to the, the family and friends of Liam Payne. He was the, the one of the singers in One Direction. Oh, I didn't know who that was, but uh, yeah, um, I, I wasn't a One Direction boy. No, neither was I, but looking at some of the uh the stuff that happened with his death it uh it looks like uh it may have been a self-inflicted oh yeah and yeah well I, yeah they said that they had called 911 on him not long before that that he was in the lobby like smashing a laptop and like acting erratic and they had to like kick him out of the lobby and then he'd yeah, like so. was in his room causing a ruckus yeah, either way, I just want to, you know, let people know is that your life is worth living and uh, there, there is a reason to, to move forward. Oh, absolutely, and man. That, uh, there are other options other than ending your yeah, life. Yeah, I mean, drugs and alcohol are a wild thing, man. Well, is, is it 988, Jones? Is that what it is? Oh, the suicide hotline? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. All right. And, yeah. and I just wanted to get that, I just wanted to get that out Did to the Did you listen air. to One Direction? I, no, I did you, not. But you liked other boy bands. Um, I do. I did like other boy bands. I don't know. I don't know if you're trying to. Is that a sub? Or you trying to call me out? You think I care? <laughs> trying to. Trying to. No, but like. No. I don't why know. were you off the One Direction train? Why but, was I off the one? I don't know. It was after my my era, I you was, were a grown grown a man at that point. Yeah, I mean, you know, I appreciate good music. I just never really listened to. Them. I was in my rap my rap bag at that time. Oh, if so they had done some rap. If they'd done a Drake crossover, I definitely a Drake would. Drake crossover. Yeah, yeah. I mean, One Direction would have wrote it, but still, um, you know, it's very interesting about boy bands. It's because this guy, I read a little bit about him after he passed. And he did have a solo career, and he had like a couple successful yeah, songs and 100%. stuff. Not as, as as famous as Harry Styles, who has like become like. Jonas. <laughs> what, dude? We ain't gonna compare the man to his band. No, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm not trying to. Guys. I'm not comparing the dead man. I, I just want you to be. I don't want you to be so flippant with the way you. you we talk about this man. Like, I'm not talking poorly he, about he him at all. I just gave him kudos. He wasn't as good as his bandmate. Jesus, <laughs> man, chill. <laughs> all right, like, let's just move on. How about that? Who's your favorite solo boy band artist? I don't know. I don't care about boy bands. Wow. Really. I guess uh, Justin Timberlake. There's your answer. You know, this he, episode is about Hamas, by the way. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's about boy bands now. No, it can't be about that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's do a boss story. Okay. It's lighter. Uh, <laughs> it's actually lighter than this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. So, uh, they, the uh, Israel, Jeez. the IDF, I think it was, uh, name of their army, uh, killed the leader of Hamas uh, just recently. Um, so, but I thought they kept getting new leaders and they were just killing them off. That's as they Hezbollah. Uh, uh, yeah. So basically this, this is the guy who orchestrated the October 7th attack last year that basically started this whole conflict where they went to that music festival and killed a bunch of people. And Thank whatever. God, man. I'm glad they got that scum of the earth off the planet. So what's That's very interesting nuts. about this guy is they said that he, he, they have trouble finding him because he tends to stay in the underground tunnels that they have. They said <laughs> That's he where you go. He even um, they said like he doesn't really use electronics. He'll send like little paper flights with couriers to his like people who then spread out the word and all of that. And they literally found him by happenstance. Uh, the, found he him. was he was out with just like there was like three or four guys and he was with them. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And the the Israeli army was doing just like a what would be equivalent to a cop on patrol, just walking through the street, no. and they and they engaged the army, and then they were shooting at him, got got him hunkered down in a building, and then they shot it with a tank. That'll do it. And what they said was that they think he got hit with a bullet, like in the head, or something, but because like. Uh, he had. He, they think that's what killed him, not not, not the tank artillery. I read something. But they, today. they had to kill all of his soldiers too. Obviously. Well, I mean, there was only a couple of them, right? Yeah. So what I read though is after they shot the building with a tank artillery, they sent a drone in to like survey, and I, I have to find the video. Maybe we we can try to find it. 
it said the drone went in and it was just him sitting by himself in a chair. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is dead, rubble, and the drone comes in and he seems to look like right at the camera of the drone and like throw a stick at it. Wow. And then like the camera shuts off in the drone or whatever. And that's wow. like his last moments like on earth was like, is that he got trapped, got caught. And then like the drone came in and he just like, like, like a movie. That's yeah. Crazy. Cause like, yeah. Like I was like, that is insane. I mean, wow. he honestly deserved probably worse than that. If he's out doing terrorist stuff. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to um, look for that footage. No, um, no, no. I, I do think it's interesting is that, uh, who was the guy, uh, you remember back in the 90s, and we were, uh, not the Bay of Pigs, what was after that? Back in the 90s, Desert Storm? No, like uh, the south of us. Not why does Oh, Ross, Guantanamo Bay? Why does Ross Perot keep coming to my mom, but it's not Ross Perot? I don't, I don't know what, you're talking an event, a person? You, yeah, Cuba, who was Cuba? Fidel Castro? Fidel Castro, no, he's he's alive still, right? I don't think so maybe didn't we kill a guy down there you know, you know what i'm <laughs> talking we about kill a guy <laughs> well either way the other guy in the middle east who we killed saddam hussein saddam hussein was one of them he was in a hole and then the dude over that we just killed hitler died in a hole hitler died in a hole we killed him he died in a hole then who was the dude in the middle east that we had to get osama osama he was in a hole no, he was in a building i mean they raided a building and killed him okay well you know supposedly he had like a bunch of like adult movies and stuff. Yeah, like some hentai and stuff. All right, look. Either way, I just you know, like you got to get in a hole if you want to live. Apparently, no, but then if you, you die. If you're a terrorist, don't live in a hole. Don't be a terrorist. I mean, that's that's yeah. you know what my life goal is. Yeah, not being a terrorist. I agree. It's a pretty low bar. <laughs> pretty low bar. So with this, uh, with this Jonas, I'm hearing is that there is a chance now for a, a gateway to have a ceasefire some sort of peace um if we if we can keep hezbollah and hamas these two terrorist organizations at bay yeah i mean they i mean i don't know what they're doing but i mean they're like some people say they're trying to like wipe out gaza some people say they're trying to like get even because lebanon connects them take out let for themselves yeah. like they're trying to yeah. expand israel yeah. there's a lot of controversy I've, i don't know i don't know I what don't their either. thing is yeah. but i do know that they have killed like five leaders of Hezbollah in the last like week. Yeah, yeah. Like, or, like some of them a couple hours later. Now they've killed the lead, the lead terrorist of Hamas, which so it means somebody else is going to take that over. Oh my god! It, and it, uh, I, I'm I'm afraid that we might be heading towards another world war. Well, North Korea is getting oh, involved. I saw that with Russia's like if you don't mess with North Korea, no mess with I don't know, man. There's a bunch of things. I don't know how Ukraine that's like is your wild card. Ukraine is talking about uh, nuclear options if it can become a part of NATO. Like, they um, I don't know how pulling out the North Korean army is like your trump card. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, okay. you're Russia, and you're like, you know what? We're bringing out the North Korean special forces. They do have nuclear capabilities, and they probably have a UAP, so. Yeah, oh, you're, they have a they have an alien thing? I'm not, I didn't say they have an alien thing. I said they probably have a UAP, Jonas. Yeah, that's what it is, though. That's what people used to, that's what you said they fight. Let's get into it. You always dig let's into this. Get let, into let's get into it. Let's get in. You always bring it back to the the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So all the wars are fought because somebody has alien technology, and one of them is, is Kim Jong Un. Oh, I, I just do not see the point in fighting over territory and land at this point in time, when honestly the the borders mean absolutely nothing besides the amount of people that you can attack or that you can tax. Yeah, but uh, I, I don't see I don't see the point in it to be honest. So you're saying Ukraine has one too, and that's why Putin wants it. I mean, you know, you say what you you say what you think. You think what you say. You know. Now you're speaking in codes. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. You're a stereotypical I, conspiracy. Theorist. I am not a stereotypical <laughs> conspiracist. I am not because I don't truly have any definitive evidence of such but i just think is that it's very odd is that our motive for starting a war in which thousands of people die especially in in the case of uh putin like the hamas israel thing that's probably over like some deep-rooted issues um over years of just 
animosity. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of wars were fought over UAE over over something more than what was on the surface. And I, we all know the government has never been 100% truthful with us. Uh, it has been said like on on the floor of the Senate that this is an issue or that they exist. You believe what you want. Okay. You believe what you want. You tell us what you believe in the comments. Tell jo TNT what do you feel about Jonas it. Jonas does not believe in, in, in aliens or Ethereans or... Theta count. Theta. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have this episode. You, you just wait, man. Elron might have been cooking. Hey. That's all the time we have this episode. Go to the crazy town to comment and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, yeah.